Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ascendi Academy course. My name is Zhe Xiaojun. Today, I'd like to introduce six meridian method in Chinese medicine. This is the learning outcomes at this course. First, what the six meridian method is. Second, understand where the six meridian method originally comes from. Third, understand the six meridian method and can describe the structure of the human being with the six meridian method. Today's lecture plan is what the six meridian method comes from, who is Zhang Zhongjing and what is his book's name? What is the six meridian method? How to describe our body with a six meridian method? The six meridian method originally from the classic traditional Chinese medicine book, Shang Han Lun. This book is very famous in traditional Chinese medicine field. It was written by Zhang Zhongjing in ancient China. If he's still alive, he will be 2,000 years old. Zhang Zhongjing is called the medicine sage in traditional Chinese medicine. The book he wrote, Shang Han Lun, is still regarded as the classic book in traditional Chinese medicine. Because this book is the bridge between Chinese medicine theory to traditional Chinese medicine practice. Some people might be wondering, this book, Shang Han Lun, is too old to use nowadays. But don't forget what Lao Tzu says. He says, if the heaven does not change, nor does the way. Okay, now let's talk about what the six meridians are. The six meridians include Taiyang meridians, Shaoyang meridians, Yangming meridians, Taiyin meridians, Shaoyin meridians, and Juyin meridians. There are six kind of meridians. The people might be confused. What are you saying? Okay, let me explain to you. We use six meridian method to make Chinese medicine diagnosis. We use six meridian method to make prescription to the people. We also describe the structure of the human body use a six meridian method. For example, have a look. There are six layers of the body. Now let's talk about the, the chunk of the human being. Taiyang is on the head. Shaoyang is on the throat. Yang Ming is at the stomach. Tai Yin, belly button level. Shao Yin, below the belly button. Jue Yin, at the lowest part of the body chunk. Just now, we talk about the six meridians to describe the structure of the human body from upper part of the body to the lower part of the body. Now let's talk about the six meridians to describe the structure of the human body from the back to the front. In Shang Han Lun, Zhong Jing said, Tai Yang is Yang meridians. And Shao Yang is half yin, half yang meridians. 
and other meridians are all U meridians. Okay, let me explain in this way. Uh, hold your mobile. This is my Huawei. This is the back of the phone. This is the side of the phone. This is the front of the phone. Taiyang is on the back. This is the Taiyang. Shaoyang is on the side. This is the Shaoyang. Other meridians are all yin meridians on the front. Okay, back to the chart. Taiyang is on the back of the human body. And Shaoyang is on the side of the body, just like the picture is the side of the body, just like your mobile the side. This is called Shaoyang Meridian. Except for the Taiyang Meridian and Shaoyang Meridian, all other four meridians are Yin Meridians. Yang Ming Meridian here. Tai Yin Meridian is here. Shao Yin Meridians is here. And Jue Yin Meridians is here. They are all Yin Meridians at the front of the human body, at the front of the body chunk. Okay, now let's do the summary. A couple of questions. What is six ready method? Who's Zhang Zhongjing? What's the Zhang Zhongjing's book's name? How to use a six meridian method to describe the human body. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.